Learn to express your dislikes in English. Movies, books, and music edition. Hello, language learners. In today's video, we're focusing on expressing our dislikes in English, specifically in relation to movies, books, and music. This is a key skill to have in conversational English, as it helps us to share our opinions and engage in deeper discussions. By the end of this video, you'll be comfortable using phrases like, I don't like, and I can't stand, to express your aversions in a variety of contexts. The phrase, I don't like, is a simple and straightforward way to express your dislike. Let's see how we can use it in context. 1. Movies. I don't like horror movies. They're too scary for me. 2. Books. I don't like non-fiction books. I find them a bit boring. 3. Music. I don't like heavy metal music. It's too loud for my taste. Remember, it's perfectly okay to follow up your dislike with a reason. This gives more depth to your conversations and allows others to better understand your preferences. For stronger dislikes, we can use the phrase, I can't stand. This phrase conveys a more intense aversion. Let's see it in action. 1. Movies, I can't stand romantic comedies. They're too predictable. 2. Books, I can't stand self-help books. I don't find them useful. 3. Music. I can't stand country music. It just doesn't resonate with me. Just like with, I don't like. It's always helpful to provide a reason after expressing your dislike using, I can't stand. It's important to remember that expressing our dislikes shouldn't offend others. Adding phrases like, in my opinion, or, for my taste, can help soften your statement and show respect for others' preferences. For example, in my opinion, action movies are too violent. I prefer dramas. I can't stand reading fantasy books, but that's just my personal taste. And there you have it, folks. Now you know how to express your dislikes in English, specifically when discussing movies, books, and music. Remember, practice is key. So go ahead and start sharing your opinions, both likes and dislikes, in your English conversations. We hope this video has been helpful, and as always, keep practicing and happy learning.